Hello everybody, my name is Phil and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Square mobile app. So I've made a video about the Square Mobile app before, but since then there's been some updates, some upgrades, some really interesting things for small business owners uh, like myself, my wife and I, and uh, we've been using Square now for, wow, probably about eight years or so, and uh, they've certainly come a long way. They've come out with new card readers that can read chip cards, that can do the tap to pay using Apple Pay and Android, whatever their version is. And, uh, you know, nice wireless devices that connect to your iPad or your iPhone. And they just recently came out with the Square Appointment app for Android. So basically it was exclusively for Apple. And just recently they now can do uh, Android phones as well, which is really nice. So I'm going to be talking about some of the features, one of the cards um, that you can actually get uh, if you are using their app and, and set up to use it. Uh, being able to take payments and mobile deposits and all that stuff and uh, some really nice features. So to begin with, if you just want to take credit cards, um, you can get either the wireless reader, which I would recommend get this one instead, not the ones that plug in because, you know, all your new Apple devices are going to just have your little port here, which you can buy the little adapter that just goes into this little port but it's a little cumbersome at times. So I would suggest getting this and you can also get the little charger port um, that basically it docks into. But for mobile, I, I really don't use that. I just carry this around with me, turn it on, connects to my iPhone and can take payments immediately and anywhere. So very convenient to use that for your credit card payments. So when it comes to their fees, it's pretty simple. Um, they have a typical flat rate of 2.75 um, if it's swiped or dipped or tapped or whatever using the readers um, and then it's 3.5 with 15 cents if you key it in so that's kind of like manual if you're not swiping it if you're taking over the phone or something like that which we'll talk about um, and then it says 2.9 plus 30 percent for online transactions so that's online invoicing or things like that which we'll also talk about there's benefits there's pros and cons to it but for me it's so easy to use um, and the equipment is minimalistic. It's really nice. There's no bulky equipment you need to use or purchase. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive. I think only like 50 bucks for this. And they have other accessories if you want to print out receipts. But again, for a mobile guy, you don't need that. If you can get their email or their cell phone, you can email or text them their invoice or their receipt. Super easy, paperless. That's the way to go. So when you download their app, Click the link down below. Uh, I actually have a referral down there uh, that you can click on. And when you download their app, you know, you sign up for their credit card processing and all of that, which is very easy to do. Um, you'll notice in the app itself, you have quite a few options. So you'll notice that you have the calendar option. You can now book appointments right on the app itself. It will save customer information. Uh, their email and their phone number, which is very important uh, to get because then you can email them um, the invoices after. You can also email them prior to your appointment, which you want to do anyway. And you can also have the app automatically email and text them however many days before the appointment. Um, you can have that set on automatic and it just does it. Um, I don't have it personally because I have some reoccurring appointments in there that kind of change from month to month or week to week. Um, and I had the mistake of having that on and it texted a customer that was due for the next day on the calendar, but I had already switched them um, personally and I, I never switched it on the app. I just failed to do that. So it kind of confused things a little bit. So I turned that off. I do the reminding myself. I'll send them out a a text or an email, usually a text, um, to remind them or call them a day or two before the appointment to confirm and make sure everything is uh, good to go. Um, 
you can collect all of your client's information here in the contacts. It syncs with your contacts on your phone or your iPad. Um, you also have the checkout option, so you can put all of your different services already kind of pre-installed in here with any other option. So if you're doing, say, a full detail like this, you can have your small, medium, large. You can add on synthetic sealant, your uh, windshield sealant, all the different little add-ons if you want to add those on and it calculates everything for you. I have in here dog hair removal, uh, minor, major dog hair removal, two different prices. Um, if you want Rain-X windshield protection on the windshield or all the glass. So all those different variables and variations you can program in here and add that right onto the service very, very easily. You can also add that on when you're booking appointments um, and the customer can as well, which we'll talk about. Now you have online booking. Now you'll see that, I can't see, you have Square Booking site, you have Reserva Google, you can book with Instagram now. Um, there's a few little, not glitches, but things that you can't necessarily put on Instagram. I think they want products on there, not necessarily services, and it has to have a specific time or something like that. It's a little confusing, I'm still trying to learn my way around that, but. I don't have anyone booked through Instagram anyway. They usually just call me or text me. Um, same thing with Google. I don't have them reserved with that. The only one I do use is the Square Booking site. Um, and I have a link right onto my website, which I'll just show in a second here. And if you click on that, that will go right to the page that the customer can click on any of the services that they want and they could book it and they will see what days you have available and they can simply book the appointment right from there. You'll get a notification on your phone through text, email, and then you can automatically have it accept, or you can choose to uh, manually accept or deny. That way you can kind of communicate with the customer because maybe if it's a day that you forgot to mark off in your calendar and uh, the customer books for that day and you're like, well, I already had plans for that day, um, then you can quickly communicate with the customer and say, oh, I see that you booked, uh, can we just switch it to this day and offer them an alternative, uh, an alternative day to book that appointment. So you can kind of do that quickly on the fly using your phone. It gives you all those notifications, which is really nice. So then you have um, your other services here, your other items, so you can customize anything you want on here. So you have all the different detailing services, all the add-ons on here as well. You can put discounts also. Now you can also set up kind of like a reward system for your customers where if they come in and uh, or if they book how many certain appointments within a certain amount of time, then you can give them a discount uh, and it'll add it on right here. It'll kind of be connected to their client information that you have uh, on your iPad or on your phone. Um, so if you choose to do that, you can add that on as well. Now another nice thing is invoices. What if you go to someone's place of work or their home and they don't have time to come out and meet you after the job is finished? Well, you can arrange ahead of time to either drop off the keys somewhere safe, um, or if you don't need the keys, you don't have to worry about that, you can lock up the vehicle, and then when your job is done, you notify them. If they can't come out to see you, to pay you, you can send them an invoice. Very easy to do, that's why you want their email is you will use that to send them the invoice. So you can create invo invoices on the fly here as well um, and immediately send them out. So we'll show you an example here. I have a customer that is uh, going to have a vehicle detailed next week and she set up for the full detail. Extreme dog hair removal that I had to put in there as well that we charge extra for. Now you'll see with the review and checkout button out here, up here, if you click on that, you will see it says to add, you can change the prices if you need to adjust anything there. And when you hit charge, you'll have different options on here as well. Now you'll see that you can accept cash. Uh, when you press that, then you can tender in, you know, how much cash was given. It'll count the change, do all that if you need to do that manually. Uh, enter the credit card information, uh, a gift card entry if you want. If they save the card on file, which they can do when they book online, 
then you can also charge that card, but the percentage fee is going to be the higher one. I, I think it was a 3.9. I'll put it up here in the screen. Uh, I'll take a look at that uh, later. Um, then you have the invoice right here. So with the invoices, you can quickly make any adjustments you need. You can do allow tip, which is nice. Allow the customer to save the card for next time if it's going to be a reoccurring customer. Add any other attachments, pictures, if you want, of the vehicle. And then you can send it on its way. And when the customer gets that, they can pay with any credit card that they want. Very easy to use. Now, another cool feature with the invoices is if you want to have them prepay a certain percentage, then you can do that as well. So for instance, if you have scheduled, say, a full pan correction in ceramic coating, that's a significant amount of money, possibly a grand or more. Now, to do an invoice or request a deposit, which I highly recommend, uh, whatever percentage you want to do, at least maybe to pay for the products ahead of time, because you know ceramic coatings and the products that we use for that process do cost a lot of money. Uh, maybe upwards of like $200 or so uh, just to get the ceramic coatings. It's all part of your price. So work that in. So say if it's going to uh, be a grand that you charge and you're doing some sort of ceramic coating and you want the money ahead of time or at least to make sure to lock down the customer, they are putting a deposit down. Then you add all that information and then you book the appointment and you can send the invoice right away but you'll see here that you can do request deposit. Now when you hit request deposit, you can do either a cash amount or a percentage amount. So add whichever percentage you have agreed upon, tell the customer ahead of time that, that you're going to do that, and then you can send that deposit and it will request the deposit amount. Once they pay, it will be recorded in here. And then when the job is finished, you can resend out that same invoice. It will remember that it already paid the deposit, or the customer already uh, paid the deposit, and it will give the remaining balance that they will pay. So really nice feature that they built in. I think that's very useful for businesses like ours where we want to request a deposit. This way it, it works it in all in one invoice, very easy to use. So now of course it keeps track of all of your transactions in here as well, uh, which is really great for tax you know, season, uh, tax time, uh, you can organize all of your receipts all in here, paperless, which is nice, all your reports in here as well, all your sales, all your deposits. Now, a really cool thing that they just added on, and we just got the card, is the deposits. Now, usually, um, they will deposit it in the next, you know, business day or two after the day is ended. They kind of send you an email and say, you made this much today. It would be deposited in the next two to three days or whatever amount uh, it is. But now you can request one of these little guys. And this basically is like an instant cash card. So you can swipe it. It has the chip and it also has the tap to pay. So really cool card that they can uh, that you can request. Um, they don't just send it to you automatically, but you can request it. And what that will do is you will have a remaining balance. Once you activate the card, um, say someone pays you $400 for whatever detail service it is for the day, that $400 will be right up there in your available balance. That is available to use immediately if you have your card. So it will draw right from that. So say you have the $400 there and uh, Maybe you need to buy a piece of equipment or some products or whatever. You can now use this card to pay instantly from that available balance, which is really cool. Um, the only thing is I got to see if there's any option for it, but sometimes you forget that balance is in there and you're waiting for it to be deposited in a couple of days and you go back here and the money's still sitting there. You need to remember if you don't need it on your card, you want to deposit it that day or the next uh, you know, few business days, then at the end of the day, go here and just hit deposit to bank and then put whatever amount uh, is in there. Nice little addition to uh, using the Square Appointment app. So there's lots of different settings in here. Once you download it, you can mess around with the different tipping uh, that you have on here as well. Customers can leave you tips. 
You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, you can also print any of your receipts if you have uh, the machines as well. Um, you have different barcode scanners that you can order, cash drawers, the square stand, all the different readers you can order from here as well. So it makes it very, very easy. And if you also accept any type of tax, you can put whatever your tax rate is in here if you're selling uh, certain products. Now, what's really nice about this is you can sell not only services, but of course your products on here as well. Now, I haven't entered it in here yet because I sell the cord snaps on the uh, online store, but I could add these in here if I wanted, but you know, my customers aren't gonna buy these. Uh, preferably other mobile detailers are interested in the cord snap, so that's why I have it on the online store um, instead. So, but you can add it in here. In fact, when you go to either services or items, that's where you can enter that in. In fact, I did have some of these items on here, these large microfiber blocks, uh, but I was selling them, but I really don't need to. I have them stored up here and I used them myself, but you'll see, you can download the little picture, write whatever description you want, and you can sell those items. You can even send links to other people if they want to purchase it right from here as well, which is really cool. So this app, is really handy for businesses like ours. Uh, it's small, it's free, and it comes with a lot of different accessories, lots of different options that you can use. I especially enjoy the online booking and the booking part of it because it will synchronize with your calendar, uh, either your Apple or your Google calendar. Um, makes it very streamlined, very easy, and you can also do the online booking. So you can even tell customers, send them a link, tell them to book online with us um, and it makes it easy because from there they can put the credit card down. Actually, you can put the option in here um, to when they book an appointment online, they have to put a credit card uh, entered in there to be able to make the appointment. So uh, that helps with no-shows. If you have a customer that you've communicated very well with and the day before or day of that appointment they do not show no communication whatsoever, then you have the option to charge a certain amount uh, because of no-shows. That's a policy that you write into your terms and agreement or whatever you have communicated with the customer and you can charge that because their card is on file. Now, of course, you don't wanna just simply charge them and that's it. Uh, you wanna communicate with the customer as much as possible because who knows, you know, our lives get crazy, they get busy, maybe something happened, maybe an accident happened, and it may be a legitimate reason uh, why they didn't uh, show up for the appointment. But even if you charge them a certain percentage, if it's $50 and the full detail was $250, if they just reschedule, well, they've already paid the $50 part, so you will just simply charge them the $200 of the remaining balance later. So, you know, hopefully it's not just a customer lost, uh, or an angry customer that you charged and they didn't want the detail anymore, uh, those things you would have to work out between you and the customer. Good communication is key. So guys, that's my little review on the Square Appointment app, trying to show you all the ins and outs of using this app, some of the pros and cons to it as well. Uh, one thing I would like to see if uh, Square could add it on, uh, when it comes to online booking, the customer can reserve their car. They could put their card on there for the no-shows like I just talked about. It would be nice if we could send a link as the business owner to them with the same option. Uh, if we also wanted to take a booking over the phone, for instance, we could send them a link later to say, please confirm this and enter your credit card number. I haven't seen that option in here. Um, if any of you guys use it and there is somewhere in there that I just didn't see that option to do that, let me know down below or if Square reaches out, which they have before, their customer service is excellent, um, then that might be a feature that they can add on later, I'm not sure, but it would be a nice feature to see. Um, basically, if we're putting in the appointment on the app ourselves to send them a confirmation email where they can enter in their credit card information for no-shows. So if you are interested in using the Square app or their card readers or anything like that, again, click that link down below that I will have as a referral link. 
um, and then you can download all this stuff, get yourself ready. If you're a mobile detailer and you wanna take credit card payments um, or just this type of system, maybe you are accepting credit card payments through another system, this integrates it with online booking and scheduling and keeping track of all of your receipts, all of your invoices, all in one program. Really easy. Then you can go onto your PC and you know mess with more options and see all of your different uh, options on there on your own computer. So really nice system. I like how everything is integrated together on your phone, on your tablet. Uh, very easy to use as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with others who may enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you want to see a variety of different videos on our services, then click up there. That will go to our playlist where we have a ton of videos. We have interior, we have exterior details, in-depth showing you before, during, and after. We have many different reviews. We have some how-tos, uh, all sorts of stuff on there. So feel free to scroll through all those videos. There's over a year's worth, almost 200 videos on there. And uh, let me know what you think when you watch those videos. Feel free to share and comment down below as well. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great week.